Hi, it's John Holloman at CNN Center in Atlanta. We're going to take you live to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where the countdown clock is ticking off the final two minutes and 12 seconds before launch for Space Shuttle Discovery. Inside, the first woman to pilot a U.S. spaceship, Eileen Collins, is at the controls, along with Commander Jim Weatherby. What you're looking at is a uh, hydrogen vent cap being lifted off the top of the space shuttle so that it can leave on schedule just under two minutes from now. Mike Pohl, who may be the top computer expert in the astronaut corps, is seated between the pilot and commander as flight engineer. Down below in the mid-deck, Bernard Harris, the payload commander, thinking about making history next week as the first African-American to ever make a spacewalk. He and Mike Pohl will hand carry a 2,800-pound satellite around in the cargo bay. That's part of an experiment to prove that astronauts will be able to connect huge segments of the space station starting in a couple of years. Janice Voss is the expert on the Space Hab Laboratory down in the cargo bay. She's operated experiments there in the past, and along on his first shuttle ride is Russian cosmonaut Vladimir Titov. He's taking along a small two-way radio, sort of like a handheld citizen's band radio, to communicate with the Russian Mir space station when the two ships rendezvous. The Mir meeting will be probably the highlight of this mission. It will happen in about three days. Commander Weatherby will steer Discovery to within 33 feet of the Russian space station and will fly around it for about an hour, taking the best pictures ever made of the Russian ship. You can probably see the countdown clock continue to tick off the final seconds before launch. We'll uh, continue to watch and listen to NASA commentator George Diller. Standing by to hand off now to the onboard flight computers. We have a handoff. Discovery's computer is now controlling. Five. Solid rocket booster Five. nozzles being gimbaled. T minus 18 seconds. Solid rocket booster is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. Ten. T minus 10 seconds. Go ten for main engine, engine start. Main engine's now started. Main engine's up and running. Three, two, one. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery on a mission to prepare for the next era of world cooperation in space. Hello, program Houston. Roger roll, Discovery. Houston is now controlling Discovery on its 20th trip to space. Discovery rolling on course for an orbit with the Mir space station. Mir currently half a world away above the Indian Ocean. on Discovery now throttling down to two-thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass through the air to maximum air pressure and go supersonic. Discovery already traveling 700 miles per hour, two miles northeast of the launch pad, altitude four miles. Go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. Three engines on Discovery are now back at full throttle. Discovery speed is 1,100 miles per hour, eight nautical miles above the launch pad, six nautical miles northeast of Kennedy Space Center. half minutes since launch. Discovery's already burned more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant and weighs less than half of what it did at launch. Discovery's altitude now 17 nautical miles, 15 nautical miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery traveling 2,800 miles per hour. Flight controller standing by for burnout and jettison of the twin solid rockets. If you're uh, living anywhere in the eastern one-third of the United States and there are no clouds in the eastern sky, you might want to go outside right now because you'll probably be able to see the shuttle as it speeds up uh, in a northeasterly direction toward its rendezvous with the Russian Mir space station. People who have been outside for these night launches on the east coast in the past when they've gone in this direction have said it's a spectacular sight, something like a shooting star. 
The shuttle is traveling at 2,800 miles an hour right now, so um, if you live uh, between Washington, D.C. and, say, Atlanta, Georgia, you might want to get outside in a hurry because it's going to go past pretty quickly. Uh, further up north, you'll have a couple more minutes to get out and see what's going on. The, the launches at night are, are always described as the most beautiful by people on the ground at the Kennedy Space Center watching them. And for those of us here and you at home watching, uh, you couldn't help but notice how pretty this thing was as it lifted off, all the red and yellow and orange of the shuttle as it went off into space. There are a lot of things going on on this mission that we were, we were talking about before the shuttle successfully launched. Let me tell you about a couple more. In addition to the Mir rendezvous, there will be dozens of experiments in the Space Hab module including medical crystal growth and production of high-quality contact lenses, which we are told will be able to be worn much longer than contact lenses manufactured on Earth. There's some rodents on this shuttle, and they will be used to determine effects of weightlessness on people and other mammals. There's a robot nicknamed Charlotte back in the space lab. It looks like a spider and can move about on a series of strings, sort of like a spider web. Charlotte has a TV camera eye, which can monitor experiments, and a hand, which can turn switches on and off. There's even a zero-gravity Coke machine aboard, which will make history by dispensing soft drinks during the mission. I think perhaps we've got a, a, a videotape now of the final few seconds of the launch that we can show you. Again, it was, uh, it was spectacular to watch. And uh, we can just see what that launch looked like as we replay it for you at this moment. We have a handoff. Discovery's computer is now controlling. Five. Solid rocket booster Winter. nozzles being gimbaled. T minus 18 seconds. Solid rocket boosters Six. armed. Sound suppression water system activated. Ten. T minus 10 seconds. Go Seven. for main engine start. Engine start. Main engine's now started. Main engine's up and running. Three, two, one and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery on a mission to prepare for the next era of world cooperation in space. Hello, Open Graham, Houston. Roger, roll, Discovery. Houston is now controlling Discovery on its 20th trip to space. Discovery rolling on course for an orbit with the Mir space station. Mir currently half a world away above the Indian Ocean. engines on Discovery now throttling down to two-thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass through the air to maximum air pressure and go supersonic. Wow, what a shot. The uh, shuttle astronauts are still not in their final orbit, but they will be in about three minutes from right now if all continues to go well. The solid rocket boosters were jettisoned a couple of minutes ago, which you saw live here on CNN. The astronauts will be in orbit for eight days and um, they'll have lots of experiments, some of which we'll be able to broadcast to you live, including a spacewalk and that uh, rendezvous with the Mir space station, which will happen about Monday of next week. John Holloman, CNN reporting. Now stay with us for Moneyline coming up next on CNN. And for international viewers, CNN World News.